Watford fan. I think they're quite like him too. Pro game one made his debut at Tottenham Football Ground in September. Two quick wins inside the distance, and then that draw last time out. And his own introduction as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this contest is a one away contest over six three minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the yellow and the blue shorts from Great Yarmouth, Marty Boy Duke. <laughs> and his opponent in the blue corner with the black shorts from Watford, OJ Abraham. <laughs> And the way today, Marty Boy Duke scale 10 stone 10 and 3 quarter pounds. OJ Abrahams, 10 stone 10 and a quarter pound. Your referee for this contest is Richie Davis and your timekeeper, Lou Hubbard. Richie Davis doing the honours again as the third man in the ring. Okay, now remember, you must defend at all times. And this is a good test for Abrahams at this stage of his career, Barry. Yeah, it'll be interesting to compare it with uh, the McKenzie win, but uh, I mean, that was a beautiful right hand that he landed against uh, Marty Duke that night. It was a fabulous punch. Uh, I don't know whether Abrahams can uh, reproduce that sort of punch, but uh, this is a good test for him, there's no doubt about that. I haven't seen Abraham, Abraham live. So, um, looking forward to this. Well, he's an interesting character. He's turned professional very late in life. <laughs> late for a boxer, that is. The age of 28. Reckons he has a plan that will take him right the way up to the top. We shall see. Round one. Abrahams in the black trunks and Duke in the blue and gold stripes. Good right hand from Abraham, Dick. I know he sparred with the likes of Ben and Eubanks. And he's a strong looking guy. Incidentally, he asked me to to thank his uh, his local press in Watford for their su for their loyal support to the years. So, well, they are I've done it for you, OJ. <laughs> Cocky, confident sort of a guy. Hands lying down on his waist. It's a bit silly, but. Nice lively jab from both boxers. <laughs> nice left jab from Bruce again. They're just feeling each other out at the moment. Come on, I always wonder whether that's a good idea to. Yeah, he's been warned by Richie Davis for the right hands around this side. I don't think they done any harm, but the, we're in the wrong You're area. Right on the borderline. Yeah. You, you are not allowed, in case you're wondering why Richie Davis was giving Duke a little bit of a ticking off there. Punches must be around the front. You can't punch the kidneys. Not allowed. Fast hands, Abrahams. He's uh, quick with his punches. Good left hook to the body. Beautiful, right through the middle. Taking this time. <laughs> yeah, those are strong punches that are sliding past Marty Duke's chin. I always wonder, Dave, whether that's a good idea to grunt as you punch. You sort of give him, uh, you telegraph your punches with that. Uh, it's uh, you went over the top, just. Nearly got Alan Minter disqualified in the Olympics, that did he? got public warning. He grunting when he threw shots. Yeah, Alan Boom Boom Minter. It's, uh, you know, it's, it does give your opponent a slight, uh, slight little message that you're going to throw a punch. Ooh, that's a solid left hook to the body from everyone. Good puncher. No doubt about that. Good evening, Ralph.
Well, here's Marty Boy Duke, another sporting a nifty line in self-decoration. A bit more lurid than Steve Yorath in the previous bite. <laughs> I thought I tore a putty tat. <laughs> There's no answer to that, really, is there, Barry? Has he got one on the other leg, too? I, 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 I hate to think. I hate to think. Well, he's... Uh, He's, he's got a fair few, hasn't he? Oh, oh yes, yeah, Jerry. Well, there's Jerry Mouse. We've had Jerry Mouse for Tweedy Park. I dread, <laughs> I dread to think where Tom is. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Please. Well, it's all good fun. Tom's ten seconds. Now, if he can, if he can fight as uh, as, as decoratively as he looks. Two. Some prospect. <laughs> Round two. Duke <laughs> in the. <laughs> Blue and gold stripes. <laughs> and his opponent from Watford, <laughs> O.J. <Jane> Abrahams. <laughs> oh, oh, good, good shot. Oh, just from Abrahams. Yeah, he should be just in close. Oh, left hook. The left hook. Um, and he's touched down. Yeah. Now, this is where we will see if he's an experienced pro. He's on his knees, he'll take eight or nine, and he's up. That shows he's got his wits about him. Yeah, but well he was hurt there. Uh, he's looking at the corner, and Abraham's oh. coming in, got him again. That's it, And over. Richie Davis has seen quite enough. Yeah, that's enough. Very impressive finish by Abraham. Just looked like he could turn it on whenever he wanted to. That's, that's really... He's a top-class worker, good puncher, fast hands. Excellent, excellent referee from Richie Davis. There was no sense at all in letting that fight continue. Yeah, absolutely. If it, had, if it had done, Duke could have been hurt. Yeah. I think it's time now for Marty to Ladies call it a day. There's some beautiful punches landed the there. Round, the referee has stopped the contest. OJ Abrahams is the winner. The formality of the announcement. Watford won, Great Yarmouth nil. And ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for being support, Marty Boy Duke. Now let's take uh, another look at the end of that particular contest, the two knockdowns. Yeah, it was a combination near the, near the ropes, a beautiful right hand and the left hook that started the, the ball rolling, as I say. Landed right, there's the left hook. Has him in trouble, another right and a short left hook again. Left hook, double the left hook, that's the one that had him going, another left hook, down he went. And uh, he finished him off with a... There goes a left hook again, doubled it up, banged it again, and then the right hand, boof, beautiful right hand. You know, superb punches there, you know, really top-class punching from uh, uh, O.J. Abrahams, and that's a, a really good win for him. Top-class punching, top-class referee, O.J. Abrahams maintains his unbeaten record, five fights and four wins. And... That draw in his last contest, I don't think he's got over that and feels much happier. We'll take another break. Join us for more live action coming up.